Mm. Hey, this is Chris. Hey, what's up? It's Jeff. And uh, we're here to talk to you about how we made our video uh, for Eclipse. It's off our latest album, Backdraft. And uh, initially we wanted to make a music video for every song on our album, but that's actually really hard to do. So with this video, it'll be four music videos. And we're trying to get to five by the end of the year. Um, but Jeff's my twin brother. He actually started Fall Star with me back in 2005. Um, and then he started playing with us again recently. It's been awesome to have him. Has it been awesome? Yeah, it's been, it's been all right. It's been all right? <laughs> it's, it's been okay. He dances for fun. And so if you see wild acrobatics on stage, that's him. But you know it's him because you can see him. But he's, yeah. yeah. We'll explain it. So we wanted to make a video uh, just to talk about how we made the video. Uh, we did it completely on our own. Um, so pretty much zero budget. Um, we were able to make the whole set and buy the props and everything for this video for $140, which is really crazy. Um, but you just got to be creative. so. Can't always have money be an obstacle. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to tell you about how we made it, so let's watch some footage. So, what you're looking at here is uh, this black thing is the set. Um, just one long board <laughs> panel? Yeah. I don't know what you call it, set. Hey. Essentially, backdrop. Backdrop! Dad! Theater. Yeah. yeah um, what this is, <clears throat> is pegboard. Um, we went to Home Depot and primered and painted one side of four pegboards um, and then nailed them together with two by fours on the top and the bottom. Um, and then we had to brace the pegboard because pegboard's super flimsy if you've never worked with it before. So we had to brace the edges. That was your idea? Yeah, it was me. Yeah, it was because the thing's really heavy, like four it was panel. It was like, we, the, initially we wanted to hang it, but it was ridiculous, so we just braced it. Braced it and shoved. We had my, our other little brother, Neil, who's an engineer. Yeah. And uh, he was very smart, helped us come up with some ideas. <laughs> he was very strong. Choo-choo. Um, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, <clears throat> so we, we were able to get it up between the three of us, and then we nailed um, like two by sixes into the rafters so that we could brace the whole thing keep it steady. Um, what you see down there, that white sheet, is muslin. Um, it's used for photos, so like a lot of you photographers out there probably use muslin. That's what's hanging behind us right now. Um, the reason why we hung it behind the pegboard is uh, we had about six floodlights behind us and their light was dispersed by the muslin through the pegboard, pegboard holes, so that way you got pretty even light through, mm -hmm. through the whole backdrop. Um, if you've seen us before, like in the past, we used to use floodlights for our live shows and um, those were just sitting in a garage somewhere, so we got those out for the shooting of this video. Um, I just wanted to say, he just came up with it, and it was just amazing what what you can think of and like put together for so little amount of money. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. You're only limited by your creativity. Yeah, it's crazy. It's cool. We shot all of the live parts in a day, and then all this stuff right here, like the stop-motion photography or the girl who's my wife Tiffany holding the globe um, that and then my little brother Neil who was the one sitting on the stool um, all that was done throughout the course of the next week um, yeah we uh <clears throat> oh man like we did what it was like an hour per person per take yeah man me and Brian both felt like throwing up for like the next couple days just cuz we, it's like, it's a minute long, almost a minute long, and we filmed, we just went hard for, oh, it was rough. All of, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all of us were like, severely in pain the next day. So this flower scene right here, stop motion. So this, this is sped up a thousand times, but this took about five to six minutes. Pick the most beautiful flower in the yard, <laughs> and just pick two petals off at a time. And then editing that little clip took 45 minutes and it's like a fraction of a second in the actual video. Um, you see that red container, that's fake blood. Uh, we drank that. You weren't supposed to put it in their mouths. So stupid. Like we needed some sort of fake blood, but we didn't have time. Because um, Brian was leaving to Germany the next day, so we didn't have time to figure out a lot of stuff, so we just went for it. And now I can't watch this footage without like gagging, because that stuff is filthy, and it makes your tongue numb. So, I ended up shooting the video. Um, Myself, 
And so what we did is just set up a tripod. And I was able to be behind most of the shots. Because if you watch the video, like most of the shots are individual or just two people at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, we filmed it pretty much separately. I had to go to work. And so my stuff was all done at the beginning. And then Cody and Brian showed up. They filmed him. And then we finished filming Chris the next day before we tore it all down. Yeah, and Brian was out of the country by then. So we had mm -hmm. to do it all before he left. Um, <clears throat> this whole video was, I got a camera, I got a Canon 6D, I was using a T2i for a while, but the 6D just performs so well in low light. And for this video it was amazing because I'm looking at the footage and it looks awful, like <laughs> really bad and I couldn't see anything and then I was able to just, um, you know, like in After Effects I was able to color correct it and it held the integrity of the image, like it was still pretty sharp mm -hmm. given the lighting. Aaron Ziesmer, one of my buddies, came out and he brought some lights and that greatly helped out a lot. Because um, we're using really low budget stuff. We got floodlights and then we got like shop lights. So like that yellow is just a nasty color. So you see we had to neutralize it by desaturating a little bit and then adding a lot of blue into the picture. But it turned out really good. Yeah. So if you watched the video and you were confused by any of the imagery or like what was going on in the story, um, it's really simple. Um, you see the band covered in ink, um, and then by the end, we're free, like we're not covered anymore. And then you see the boy um, who has the hood on, and initially like tries turning on the light, and then it's kind of his spiritual journey. So you see him like with the nuke, and he's like um, sitting that way, like and he's making the hand signals, like as above, so below, like he's yearning for this this um, way of seeing the world in a higher way or higher understanding and he's like searching for truth um, and then you see him like searching like all around like his stool it's really quick imagery um, but then the flowers bloom and it's like his mind is awakening um, and then he's like kind of like learning nature and he's looking through the stars so you see them go around and then um, at the end like he's able to like turn on the light bulb and like be illuminated in his mind like enlightened and that's that's the overall idea behind the boy like he's searching for something and at the end like trying to convey that he found it originally we wanted to make like a grindhouse like horror i know you didn't want to <laughs> but me and brian wanted to do like a grindhouse like horror movie style with like really creepy crap like nails on chalkboard and stuff but then it was kind of hard to justify a meaning without just having kind of dark images that it's fun to make stuff like that but you, you kind of have to think more about like what you're making like if you, you want to make art that has an actual Point to it. The main idea of, of the footage is to show how Jesus brings light out of like complete blackness. So most everything is like complete black. You see Chris's face is just covered in, in entirely covered in black ink. And even in the song, um, it talks about a, a broken a God who comes and is broken with this world. And like like Rob Bell says, he comes and he says, "Me too," and comes along and lays down beside us. But uh, in the second half of the song, it talks about God breaking, breaking free and breaking loose like like fire and coming and redeeming his his children, his people, and so you see that begin to happen um, as the flower blooms and as the world, um, as the black gets pulled off the world, and that's what we believe um, Jesus did and is doing in in lives of in people and in the world in its entirety. So we we believe that. Um, life is being formed and art is being created and because of his presence on the earth uh, we have an opportunity to be clean and live in the light so that's what the, the video is portraying yeah yeah, yeah and it's like also kind of the worldview that like maybe God's not gonna smite the world and like burn it and yeah like like if, if the goodness that God brings us is actually really this good shouldn't it change the world shouldn't we believe mm -hmm. that the world could become this beautiful perfect place and so that's what we're hoping for like you can live and be like well screw it like the world's gonna burn anyway so might as well just kind of give up on it and i have been bound like not worried about mm -hmm. this but like we got to be invested in this world and like we if we really do believe that god is going to change things and if he's going to collaborate with his people and mankind and then we have to believe that it's going to get better. Well, is that it? <laughs> I think that's everything. <laughs> that's everything. Hmm. Well, thanks for watching our video. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the real music video. And if you get a chance, check out the meaning behind mm -hmm. the song. Definitely. In another video. 
really went overboard on this one. Brian would be here too. Yeah. So Cody, but they're gone. We miss him. Yeah. And Cody. And Cody. Uh, check out <laughs> check out we're building a fire. Uh, dot com. It's Foster's new website. It'll be up tomorrow. Today is the day before the music video gets released. So check mm -hmm. it out. We are building a fire. Dot com. We love you guys a lot. Thanks yeah, for staying tuned.